Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and we are back for part 6 of The Quarry. In the previous episode, we found out Laura Kearney's backstory and how she survived after she was captured, and how actually her boyfriend Max had also survived, but he had turned into a werewolf. He is in fact the werewolf that appeared on the island and chased Emma and some of the other camp counselors about in previous episodes. So this is actually pretty exciting, everything's tying back together, characters are reuniting, and we're finally starting to solve some of the mysteries around this camp. We found out that the camp manager, Chris Hackett, is also a werewolf, and he is one of the original werewolves that need to be killed in order for people like Max and Nick to then, you know, turn back to their human forms. So yeah, we're actually on the hunt to try and find Chris Hackett right now and kill him as Laura Kearney. So we're going to dive right back into the game where we left off. If you guys want to catch up on the story, just recap by watching previous episodes because there's so much that's happened. But we've been enjoying this, I think, you know, we've been making some interesting choices. So far, we've kept most of the characters alive, I believe. In fact, I think we've kept all of the key characters alive. So we've done pretty well on that front. And now it's time to dive back in and see where the quarry goes next. Here we go then. Chapter 8, The Belly of the Beast. It sounds like it's getting ominous now. Go inside the belly of the beast. Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. What a rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. So I can say, I said shut up, or Caitlin, what do I do? I'll ask Caitlin. Uh, Caitlin? What do I do? Oh, wow. Real strong showing on the leadership front. I said she shut doesn't up. respect me. <laughs> oh, no way. I, I just thought like I'd involved. get her this involved because, you know, Laura just, seems she, like she's okay. Everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. The body in the lake, too. Remember what Jacob said? Yeah, right. Listen to me. These people are not who you think they are, I promise. Hmm. I'm convinced. All this over a poem. Curious. You said you heard a woman. I'll be curious. Hold up. You, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? We've heard that as well, you see. What do you know? It's the ghost story he told us about, right, Caitlin? This isn't a ghost story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening and you're all in it. Your bracelet. There's also some kind of ghost story going on, though. But we can be suspicious. What are you doing? Or aggressive. I'll shoot you. I'll be suspicious. We don't want to be too aggressive here. What are you doing? I'm trying to help. I'm perfectly trusting of Laura. I think Worst she's fine. Scenario, you know? This should give you a fighting chance. So I'm not really worried about her good? at all. For good? Yeah. Oh, well, she's put the Nick silver inside a bullet. Like said. Worst case scenario. Yeah, if Nick comes at us, we're gonna have to kill him with that bullet, which has silver in it Ryan, now. Put that fucking thing down before you hurt someone. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, stop being such a, an idiot. Nobody respects you right now. Notice how she doesn't point the gun on him. So she's not a threat. Come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. What makes you think I know or I wouldn't tell you. I'll be guarded. What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. Ryan's too protective of Chris Hackett. I know he's his friend and everything, but, you know, if he's the werewolf that started all of this, we're gonna need to track him down. Dude! What? Sarcastic. Have you thought about not killing him or compassionate? Maybe there's another way. I'll be compassionate. Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. It's the only way, guys. We're gonna have to do it. Hunting season is Look, open. When the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? And don't forget about Nick, dude. Yeah, we need to get Nick to safety again. Okay, any closer we're gonna have to spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. We need to get Nick and Abby together. I'm running out of time. They're a good match. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. An unlikely pair-up. 
So we can say Chris has nothing to do with this, or aggressive. No way you're going alone. I'm gonna be friendly. I'm gonna show you that Chris Hackett has nothing to do with this. He wanted us to stay inside tonight. He wanted us safe. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. Shut up. <laughs> Fine. Do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? <laughs> We've got no way to it escape now. It was a now. stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. We just need to find Jacob. He's got the uh, rotor arm, oh, hasn't yeah. he? We can fix it, the van, and all. An escape. An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. But Jacob's locked up in a cage, if you guys remember. So we're going to need to break him out, you know? Oh, we're still with Laura. Okay, Laura and Ryan are off. Into the belly of the beast, as the chapter is called. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? Yes. Uh, okay, so suspicious. This doesn't feel right or inquisitive. Have you been there? I'll be inquisitive. Have you actually been there before? I mean, no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. Great. So none of them know anything. <laughs> We're just going into the mouth of madness. How well do you know Chris Hackett? This rage, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit, and Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. Teacher's pet. <laughs> Laura's Why like really like harsh this? to Ryan. She keeps berating him. So we can be provoking. I should ask you the same thing, or reflective. No one knows anybody. I'll be reflective. Look, I don't think anybody knows anybody, not really. Well, I know Mr. H, and, and he never hurt any of us. Well, I know for a fact he's not the good guy you think he is. All he does is try to help people. That's what his whole camp is all about, to help the kids. Yeah, I don't doubt it. You know what I have to do, right? I know. But only if we can't talk to him. If we can't find another way. I don't know, it's a full moon. So, he might not be in the right state of mind to talk, you know, he might already have been transformed into one of these beasts. And then if he transforms, you know, it might be too late. See, the moon is full. Oh, or is it slowly covering back up? There it is. Hack your house. So, he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. <gasps> That's probably where there. Jacob is held up. In that cage. Answers, it's probably the best place to start. If we can free Jacob, we can get to the van and escape, because he's so, got the piece we uh, need. Wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? Ryan doesn't seem the smartest all the time, does That's he? That's a really good question. Like, it's quite obvious what he was being asked there. Maybe we just don't. Angry. Whose side are you on or compassionate? I get it, he's your friend. Let's be compassionate. Look, I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. No, you wouldn't. You're hiding right. something, man. Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hey, where are you going? You're on a timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. Oh. Oh no. I got you. Careful, we're gonna go. We're gonna fall, we're gonna fall. Oh. Wow. We both fell into the belly of the beast. I don't know if this is good, guys. Oh, it looks like it goes a long way okay? down. We're underground now. In some kind of uh, cave system or something. <laughs> I love how she just storms out the water straight away. 
This is like Resident it Evil now. Your breath, but shuns clear water. Right. Oh my God, Laura! What the heck? Jesus, Mary and Jazz hands. Oh, cause she's transforming. She got bitten, didn't she? I forgot. A thought. What are you doing? Realize. Look. Her eye. It's, it's all healed. What big eyes you have, Grandma? They look like wolf eyes now, don't they? No shit! Can you see yellow in my eyes? He's like, uh, no! Define yellow? <laughs> shit. They look fine! We haven't got much time. They're blue. They're still blue. Alright, we're controlling Laura. We can move about once again. Look at this place, guys. We're miles under the ground. Now, I do wonder, because we're allowed to go all the way around the outside of this water, if by doing so we can find one of those tarot cards. So I'm just going to have a quick peek around here. Oh, there's a box over here as well. It looks like a toolbox, actually. What is this? Definitely worth poking around the side of these rocks. This Clue discovered. Old working quarry. Makes sense. Huh, let's have a look. Okay, so this is a miner's lunchbox, and it says the forgotten belongings of a quarry miner abandoned in the tunnels. A letter of foreclosure within indicates that this has been down here since the late 1930s. Wow, so it's been here for a long time. Interesting. Let's keep going then. This is where the miners used to mine then. Kind of makes sense, because, you know, that's what miners tend to do in, in mines. We'll head upstairs next, but first I'm going to check this out. Got some tools by the look of it. Pickaxes, hammers. Ideal tools for mining. These must have been from the quarry days. No duh. Alright. No one's been down here for years. Calm down, man. We've been trying to be really polite to Ryan. He's been rude to us. I don't like it. Let's head up. I don't like how slow it is to walk up the, um, you know, to walk up the steps in these games. Like, it's so slow. Like, I'd just make them jog up the stairs. But never mind. Silas! <gasps> Silas, there's that name again. Did you hear that too? It's her. Who? The hag of Hackett's quarry. It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. I wonder if it's going to be like something supernatural or if the Hag of Hackett's Quarry is maybe just that old woman we saw earlier, you know, who seems to be like the parents of the two hunters or the mother of the two hunters. Oh, shit. You think anyone heard that? No, they can't have done. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. This is... Keep moving. Yeah. Huh. They're kind of like a brother and sister. They keep annoying each other. They're kind of getting playful with each other now. Right, we've got an option to go all the way up to the top. So let's head up. Oh, is there anything we can do over here? Yes. See, it's always worth investigating, even if it seems like a dead end. Because we just got a card called The Lovers there. We'll let the mystic describe what that card's all about, just though. look at this place. It certainly seems to go up a long way. I'm guessing this leads to the inside of the house. Okay. Oh, no. This isn't good. Quick. We made it. There you go, they spotted each other there. I could really do with a hamburger right about now. Her eyes aren't yellow anymore. Stop being weird. That's strange. Maybe it's because she's not in the moonlight anymore. It could be that if she's not in direct moonlight, she won't change. But at least Ryan's kind of helping us, and we got the quick time event correct. If we'd missed that, we might have fallen and died. Because you can die at any moment in these games, I think, guys. Oh boy, this is high. It is pretty high. Look at that. Woo. Let's keep going, though. Oh, what's this? Is this a clue? It's a bit of meat. 
Do you think scarred flesh? Something is in here with us. Either that, or this route isn't as disused as we thought. So that's some flesh that's come off somebody that's obviously exploded into a werewolf. I kind of like how they transform in this game. They literally do just like explode into like gore. A long way down. Yep, it is a long way down. I feel like you said that a few times now. What is this? Well, cave in do not enter. Cave out. <laughs> Look who's finding their funny bone. Yeah, it was a great joke there. Worthy of a Christmas cracker. Why are you looking that way? Surely it's this way. Or is this where the cave-in happened? So what's your deal then? What do you mean? The whole mysterious brooding loner thing, it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? Patient. You know that's not what I meant, or inquisitive. What box would that be? I'll be inquisitive. And what box would that be? Nothing. Forget it. Do you always do that? Do what? Uh, start to engage in a conversation and then just immediately recoil into your shell. Maybe I don't want to <laughs> talk to you anymore. Oh, wow. Charming. I am assuming you're single? Yeah. Why? No reason. Incel vibes coming off him. Right, let's go inside. This way. I see a light. Yeah. I love the environments in this game. It or looks so cool. Hang out here. Up to you. Like, this is, uh, oh, we have to hold down the button once again. Someone's been eating their spinach. So, you want to go into the collapsing nightmare tunnel first, or shall I? He's like, no, you go first. It's fine. Right, here we go. Ooh. Tarot card number two. Nice. Look at this place. Is there anything we can find clue-wise down here? We're like in some kind of uh, Looks promising. basement by the look of it now, like a cellar of the house. Which means we should be able to go directly up into the inside of a house and hopefully find uh, Jacob in his cell. As long as this is where he's being held, but I assume it is. Just want to check for clues everywhere. This seems to be sitting on the table. Oh no, it's just a jug. What's this? Careful. Splinters. Don't worry about that. Thanks. We've got regenerative Fine. abilities now. Splinters aren't going to do anything to us. Found the party. Alcohol. From Prohibition. These are rum running tunnels. That would make that liquor almost 100 years old. Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. Nah, it's not the time to be getting drunk right now. Well, I guess we already had a party earlier. That makes sense. I guess when the cores are done, they branched out. Come on, time travel later. Right, okay, so these are rum running tunnels leading to the house from Prohibition, apparently. Uh, let's go through the door. Let's try and find a way into this house. You think this is it? Uh beach me I'm pretty much completely lost <sighs> yeah me too let's go Shall we? give that door a good kick in or maybe just open it yeah I didn't realize it was unlocked Caitlin's so we're back with Caitlin now at the lodge oh yeah cuz they set off to the lodge didn't they of course <laughs> The only problem is, this is where the hunters were. Emma's outside in the car, if you remember, as well, guys. So we might actually reunite with Emma next. Just be careful, check for perimeter, that's it. Shotgun at the ready. If anything jumps out, bang. Uh... What the hell happened here? Nothing good. Dismissive. We have to keep moving. Honest. My bad. Us be dismissive. Nothing good. We've got to keep moving. It's not safe here. We already know that when we tell Dylan gonna be something bad, you know, he freaks out. Look, honestly, if half of what Laura's saying is true, I really don't care what Mr. H thinks. The house being untidy is the least of their worries what right now. What do you now. think happened to Jacob and Emma? 
Probably nothing. Hopefully. I mean, I mean, should we go find them? Warn them? I think the safest thing, the most responsible thing, is to try and get help. Right. And then we can come back for them. And Nick. And Nick. Right, okay. Something seems to be in here with us. Well, maybe not. Nope, I think they've gone straight back outside. And Wait. Emma right. is in that van, of course. Hopefully they don't shoot her by accident. Is there... Is there something in there? There's an Emma in that um. van. Be careful. What is it? I... Jacob? Emma? Unless I she's, think... like, something's happened to her. Should I open it up? Your funeral, buddy. Okay, come on. I'm kind of nervous now that it's not just going to be Emma in here. Oh, okay! Did she not see that it's Dylan? <laughs> He's lost his hand, man. That's, don't spray him. It hurts! Oh my god! Oh, I, Dylan's having the I'm worst so luck sorry. out of everyone, I think. Dylan, I am so, so sorry. Oh, I didn't know it was you. I was really Dylan. scared and I thought it's not Mace. What? Air freshener. Oh. It's still uh, gonna hurt though, right? Yeah. It's all I could find in the van. And you shouldn't spray that in someone's eyes. Uh, Dylan? <laughs> You're, uh... And he's like, yep, this is my stump. It's new. So she was in the police station this whole time? Insane, right? This whole time, we were having such a fun summer. We never knew. Jeez. Okay. Can you fix it? No. <laughs> oh. Not without some parts. Specifically, a rotor arm. There's a scrapyard up the road. So you can fix it? Well... No promises, but if there's hope, that's where we're going to find it. Okay. Sounds good. That sounds like a long shot. It's the only shot we've got right now. So we can say, got something better to do or encouraging, I need you. I'll be encouraging. Dylan, come on. Look, I need you. We need you. Fine. Okay. Once again, Dylan puts himself in mortal danger for the sake of his work friends. I feel like Dylan should get the day off, you know, <laughs> seeing as he's lost his hand. He should be the one that gets what to sit in the van. What exactly are supposed to do? I mean, the van is nice, but it's not exactly Fort Knox. Well, there's a shelter under the lodge. You could be safe there for a while. All right. Abby, you're with me. Good luck. See, why isn't Emma helping out? She's just going to sit in the basement by the sound of it, of the lodge. Dylan should be... Able to be the one that's like chilled out and sat somewhere. Oh well, he's with us now. We've got a shotgun at least. I just feel like Dylan's the worst choice because he hasn't even got both hands free to like remove the rotor arm from the car. He hasn't got both hands free to shoot the gun. I don't know. I would have picked one of the girls to come, but oh well. We're in the cellar now. The rum cellar. What was that? <gasps> the policeman's huh? upstairs. What was that? Oh, it's nothing. We got we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. That is like a proper backwater family, you know? <laughs> it's like from, from Deliverance or something. You guys ever seen that movie? Keep it down. You keep it down. Shh. These two bicker, they are like brother and sister. It's nuts. Right, we're in control, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me check in here. You never know; there can be secrets, you know. Look, we've got another card. The Empress. So we've actually found three cards in this chapter, right? This is still the same chapter, I believe. So obviously, you can find three cards per chapter, which does make sense. I just never have before. Let's keep going, I guess. Check if there's any um, clues about in this cellar. Oh, a red... This is where Jacob is! Just realised. The cages. Be careful, though. Careful. Do not slip on the blood. Do not slip on the uh, innards. 
of, of victims. We know there's a beast in here, so we've got to be careful. I think it might be Nick, though, the one that's captured. Right, careful. It takes control away from us just when I want control. So I can make decisions here. Check up. Is he okay? Oh man. Hey, it's Ryan. Jesus, what happened to you? He seems really different suddenly. Open cage. Um I think it's electrified, isn't it? I'm hey. pretty sure. Yeah, it's, uh, he would have got shock if we'd done that. He might have actually died if we'd done that, in fact. Or at least alerted everyone. So okay, we definitely made okay. the right choice there. How? It's electrified. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. He suddenly springs to life. Alright, let's get the uh, electric box, turn it off. Why are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. Ma. Uh. <clears throat> it's Kaylee. She's dead. <laughs> no. Yep. The boys are bringing her in right now. Laura shot her. Because she was one of the werewolves, wasn't she? Now I know you got a screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. They might turn on us now. Now the granddaughter's been killed. No. No, no. No, no. Not my granddaughter. Not my only granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. You goddamn piece of shit. Not my little Kaylee. It wasn't his God fault. God damn you. What did you do to her? All right, let's get Jacob out. I don't really have any connection to Kaylee or any of that family. We haven't seen them enough been? to care about them, so... Is she crazy? Don't really care. Um... Let's stop Laura. Wait! It's him! Think about it. Why would they lock him in a cage? And who the hell is it? Who the hell is she? I think She's that's Nick, actually, in that cage. Yeah, we, we want to stop her from once. shooting it that might guy. Even be Nick. Your friend? Hey, listen. Okay, they said that they've already got two of us accounted for. W whatever that means. Whoever this is, they're they're not going anywhere. Remember, we've got to be sure. You promised. I'm pretty sure that is right. Nick in that cage, right. and not right. yeah. Chris Hackett. Okay, seriously, man. So I think we definitely did the right thing by stopping Laura there. But we do need to get him out. So we need to shut down the power, open the doors. They took it. And then run. You fucking idiot! Ma. Get away from me! Charming. Lovely, uh, lovely mouth she's got on her. They're close. Right, we need to book it. Come on, let's get out. Help Jacob, leave Jacob. We need to help Jacob. Okay. 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 Talk me through it. Okay, so. All I know. Is you have to open my door. And that door. Definitely not that door. Oh, cool. Oh, Thanks. yeah, what if we release the wrong door? No, you, and we I'm let that creature to... out, man. Shut up! Okay, there's a console on the wall over there, like a box or whatever. You should be able to use those switches to isolate each cage. We need to okay. check the Inside. number of Jacob's okay. cage. And then we need to open the door into his cage and then his cage. So I think five and three is right. We need to open door five and door three, yeah. Okay. So one, two. Oh man, what do we do? We know his cage is cage three, so we definitely need to do breaker three. Um, man, breaker one, breaker two, breaker four. I don't know. Breaker break three, is it like, does it show where the cables are attached to? Maybe breaker two, because it's next to breaker three? Let's give it a go. Hey! Hey, dude! Nice! 
Right, now don't fuck it up. So we need to do one more, right? <sighs> Continue. I can do this, I can do this. Focus, um, dude, focus. Man, how are we gonna do this? So... We... <sighs> Would it be two and... Breaker one? I'm gonna try breaker one, guys. I don't know. Hey! Okay. It worked! We did it! We freed him! Okay. Oh, damn. You look awful. Thanks. Hell. Where's everyone else? Um, Jake. Emma wasn't with them. I don't know where she is. But you should go catch up with them. Be careful. We came into the mines. I don't. I don't know if there's a way back up. Okay. So we've let him go. Not my. God. Not, not my only granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. What? So, you. You had those motherfucking counselors in your goddamn jail for two whole motherfucking months, right? <laughs> She's got and a foul mouth on her, man. She's a really foul-mouthed mother. That instead of putting a bullet into each one of their little sorry shit-stained brains... She's a bad influence on them, because they just want to help the counselors. You gave them your silver bullet gun and they shot my Kaylee with it? Is that what you're telling me now, Travis? No more blood on your hands. That's what you, you, you said it. Oh my, oh my God, we are way past that now. <gasps> Ma, what, what if it had been me or, or, or Bobby? What then? He's trying to reason with it. He doesn't want to she kill anybody that's innocent. A good boy protects his family. No. You ain't no good boy. Stop making him kill innocent people, you horrible old wench. I wish I could take it all back. I wish I could take it all back, but I can't. Oh, I just don't, I, I don't understand why you, you, you couldn't have just taken care of the problem when you had the chance. Taking care of the problem? Do you hear yourself? Yes, I hear my goddamn self if I may be old, but I ain't deaf. I'm a police officer. Oh, so now I'm blind, you motherfucker. Wow. No, She's I'm horrible. Oh, you She's like the worst mother of all time. Like it's worth a million dollars. The only reason you got it is because Hank got killed in a gypsy fire. Ma. Don't ma. We found Hank's ma badge me. earlier, didn't you we? It was all down. like burned. Don't you tell me what to do. Please. And don't you go around. Don't you go around like you better than everybody else, because you ain't. Would you please sit down? Don't you tell me what to do, you piece of shit. She's just like crazy old woman. He should not listen to her. I know that she's his mother, but she's obviously like demented, yeah. isn't she? She's not stable at all. She's like very kind of... Kill hungry, let's say. Oh no! No, 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 no. No. Oh! Ryan, run! Ma, send Bobby down. Alright, this is bad. I think this is the end of the chapter by the look of it, guys. Jacob has been freed, and we're on the run as Ryan from uh, Bobby, who's about to pursue us. So it's getting exciting. I think that's the end of chapter 8. We're stuck in the belly of a beast in this old house. Things are warming up. And here we go, we're back with the mystic. Welcome back. Did you miss me? Uh, not really. Hopefully you've brought me some more of my cards. Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, let's take a look. The Empress, there we go, that's the first one. The Empress. Look at her. Those at the top can fall the hardest. Such a shame to nurture little monsters only to live long enough to watch them kill you. <laughs> but it's no less than she deserves. Hmm. The lovers. There's harmony and disagreement brought to light only by sparks so The Empress is talking about... The mother, I think, from the heart. and the lovers, I think, you is talking about Nick it. and Abby, maybe. And tasting it could save someone's life. Um. 
the wheel of fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch closely. Though the wheel spins, the eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. Details. All right, let's see more. Which shall we pick? Then choose the possible future you'd like to witness. And watch carefully. Try and find some clarity in the chaos. All right, let's have a look. I want to check out the Empress card, I think, because it seems to be about the mother of a family. So let's gaze into the crystal ball once more and see what it shows us. Oh, it shows us the uh, werewolf getting the mother. Okay. Interesting. Go. You've still got time. Be careful now. Be very careful. We're back with Dylan and Caitlin in the woods. Chapter 9, The Matriarch. The Ooh. Nah, just seen the sign on my way to camp. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? That is a very this good point, main. Dylan. No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is... Just walk out of there. That That's way. a really good point. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yep. Yeah. But that's, you know, that makes oh, sense, though. That? <laughs> that's using your head. Let's just keep Get moving. out of harm's way. Stop looking for a little rotor arm for the car and walk out. I know there could be stuff in the woods, but you've got some silver bullets, right? So, Should be all right. I guess this is me now. What? You're going to look great with a hook. We can call you... The hooky in the cook face. Nice. I'm sure that's going to lift his spirits. So we can be depressed and say, no one will treat me the same or positive. I guess it's kind of unique. Let's be positive about it. It's not the end of the world. It's pretty bad, but yeah, you know. Yeah, I guess it's pretty A lot of people unique. have to survive that way. I could get different attachments for it. <laughs> yeah, man. Lean into it. One hell of a story, too. Yeah, I guess it's something to talk about on the radio station. We're all going to be laughing about this in a few years. You, me, maybe even Ryan. Get a cyberpunk situation going on. Uh, curious. Think we missed our shot. I think I want to actually say that. Kind of got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? This is always next year, right? No, we're not coming back here next well, year. That's 100% ruled out. There's no way we're coming back. Like, would you guys come back to a camp where all this stuff had gone down? Because I sure really wouldn't. Anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident and heroic with an eye patch. So pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> no. That's another Christmas yeah. cracker level joke. We've heard many of those this episode. Someone's been buying the joke book. Oh, oh that's not good. Relax. It's a motion sensor. We're okay. I think. I wonder if werewolves are oh, any look, good under light, actually. Ew, come on, this if we way. stay under the light, we could be safe. I really want to know what's going to happen to Laura and um, Ryan and Jacob now. I think we're going to find out by the look of it. Oh no, this is uh, back at the shelter. This is Abigail. We're with her now. Wait, why are they in the basement? Isn't this the worst place to go? This is where the beast was originally. So what do we do now? Well, I guess we just... Make ourselves at home. Live up some cocktails, see what's on the TV. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Get started then. Um, <laughs> go and find the, the cocktails. Annoyed, cut it out, Emma, or curious, why are you so positive? I'll be curious. Let's go. Why are you always so positive? Oh, why do you keep asking me that? Uh, I asked you about your confidence, not your... Whatever is happening right now. Ugh, I don't know. I guess I just don't like to see other people sad. She overcompensates, doesn't she? She's quite, I think she's quite like, um, I don't know, nervous on the inside. I'll be friendly. Oh, please. Oh, please. What? Is that really what you think of your followers? Just a bunch of sad sacks that need you to cheer them up? Well, come after me. Don't come after my followers. My emanation. You really I like that. Need to come that. That's kind of clever. Hell yeah, I do. 
Emma <sighs> is enjoying your company. Nice. Like this nine, huh? It's working. Yeah. Come on. I want to hear you say it. Nothing worse than an awkward silence, you know, if you're trapped with Fuck someone. Fuck this night. Fuck it all the way to morning. <laughs> okay, that went well. Emma's enjoying our company. Uh, it seems like that was a fairly Hi, short yeah. scene. We're back with Laura now. Easy, ma. We're going to find out what's going to happen Put next. Down, oh, man, they're really dragging her about. Why did they let her hold onto the shotgun the whole Everybody time? Everybody just relax. <laughs> I thought they were going to take him out of her. See, darling. Great. Can she not see in the dark now? She's got the uh, werewolf abilities. No. Nope. Shoot her. Gotcha. Kick her or something. Kick her. Oh, holy moly. Okay. That was, um, didn't think that was going to happen. Maybe I shouldn't have pressed the button. Everybody stop. This is going to be really bad for Laura now. They're going to just turn on her. What the fuck is going on up here? She's not waking up, my dude. Uh, I'm sorry. Did they not realize that just happened? I wondered why they were being so calm, you know? Oh. She's gone. Little Bobby. She's gone, little Bobby. Mama's, Mama's gone. gone. Yep, she's she... dead. Yeah. I don't... I didn't know that the game was going to kill her if we just held down the A button. No more. Press A to kill. <laughs> That's what it should have said. No more protecting anyone. Travis. They're turning on us now. They're all gonna kill us. Dodge. Whoa. Yeah, we've just... Okay. Wow. Yeah, that kind of started a whole thing. Um, it, it escalated everything. We've put ourselves on a really bad path here. Where everybody's out to get us now. And if we hadn't pressed the A button down, I think we would have probably been all right there. This goes to show how the smallest thing that we do in this game can radically alter everything. We kind of made a good choice there to hide in that little um, pulley system, though. I need to take that knife out, my dude. Uh, okay. All right, that's not good. Let's yank it out. Go on. You gotta be brave, dude. Pull knife. I'm going to pull it, guys. I think if we pull it out, we could die, but I'm going to just do it because we need to We need to get this done. No. Oh, it's serrated. Path chosen. Okay, we might die now. But we also might be able to live. I don't know, guys. I might have killed Ryan. <laughs> I might be killing everybody in this episode. Alright, we need to figure out a way to patch ourselves up. We need to get bandages or something. What's this? Some notes. Was that the uh, poem we needed, actually? He does not look in good shape. Here's the poem that we were read, I think. Um... Oh no, it's a note to the granny. Kaylee's letter. Let's have a look. Kaylee Hackett's letter of confession addressed to her grandmother. Hmm. I don't know how we look at that. It doesn't seem like we can read it. Maybe we'll get to read that later. Now, what's this? Is this a hiding place, maybe? Nothing in there. Maybe a good hiding place, though. It's good to have a look around, you know. We can kind of figure out the situation. I've really kind of got to the point in the story, guys, where any decision we make is now going to start killing off characters if we make the wrong decision. So I am going to have to be a bit more careful, I think. There's a place under the bed here. I think these are different hiding spots. Is this water next to the bed? Oh, God. No, nope. that is very much not water. It's like the opposite. That's fecal matter, <laughs> to put it politely. So, uh, yeah, don't be rubbing that in the wound. 
Okay, now we can go that way. I actually want to check out the door over here, to be honest, before we leave. Just check all our options out. That's locked. <clears throat> we see through the keyhole. Yeah, look. Something interesting through there. Oh, way out. Is that like a window? There's definitely a door through there. It's always when somebody looks through a keyhole in a game when they get like grabbed or something, isn't it? Or in a movie. They look through the keyhole and then suddenly, when it's in a close-up shot of their face, like somebody grabs them off camera. Oh, the death. Oh no, that's not good. We got the death card and we've just been stabbed. Alrighty then. Let's go through the door. It's pretty locked as well. Hmm, what's through this one? Okay, somebody's coming back. Somebody is coming back. Block door or hide. I'm just gonna hide. Under bed or in cabinet. Under bed. I know that there's the, uh, the you know, the waste there, <laughs> let's say, but at the end of the day, I'm hoping he won't check under the bed because the waste is there. He'll be like, I'm not leaning down looking at that. Hold breath. It'll be really hard to hold your breath when you've been stabbed near your lungs as well. Right, when he goes through there, we release our breath. Ooh, come on. He's opened the door. Right, go. Go, 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 go. Very quietly, though. Very quietly. Yep, yeah, just inch out. Try not to leave a trail of blood behind us. Man, he's not happy. I mean, his mom's just been killed. Of course he isn't. Hobble away. Come on, Ryan. Come on, man. You got this, bro. I'm close. Stand by. Over. Out you go. Out you go. Come on, slip out. Nice. Oh, that was loud. Oh, no. I think he's going to catch up with us. We should have closed that door at the very least. Okay, we slipped through. We gotta push this over, guys. Boom. Nice. Okay. You can't hide from me in my own house, fucker! Calm down, dude. You're a fucker. <laughs> Great retort. Fantastic. Nice work, Ryan. Alright, Laura, she's still alive. We need to get everybody out the house in one piece here, guys. We've made a bad situation by accidentally shooting my mom, which I didn't mean to happen. Um, I guess we could hide. Yeah, that's it. Get down, wait for him to come past. Hold breath now. I, I left it till the last minute, guys, because we want the maximum amount of breath to be able to be held here. When he leaves, when he leaves, we breathe again. Come on, are we going to get enough time? I can hear you breathing, little girl. No, you can't. Hold it. Hold it. We haven't got long to hold our breath, guys. We haven't got long. Come on. Okay, good. We did it. That was very close. Go, 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 go. We made it. That was a good move to hide there and then to run. Worked out nicely. Right, what are we doing? We're still in the house. We need to get out of this place, man. We need to... I don't know how we're going to get out, though. The perimeter's all, like, sealed up, isn't it? Oh, man, we got to control her again. Do we interact with a piano? Don't play it. I just want to go over and have a look. Play? Definitely not. Definitely not. Why would you play it? That's kind of creepy. What is that? Hunting trophy on the wall. Let's have a look. Is that a werewolf skull? The spoils of the Hackett's hunting prowess. You'd think they'd want to cover up the bullet wounds and signs of injury. Perhaps they serve as a reminder that these animals are definitely dead. 
Yeah, so there's some more Hackett history. Guys, we're going up the stairs. We're going up the stairs. Alright, let's check out this room first, guys. Go in and see if we can uh, see any clues in here. Seems like an office of some kind. What's this? A Hackett family tree by the look of it. Clue discovered. Hackett family tree. Let's have a look. The Hackett family have been around for quite some time. Their roots run deep in the local area. There we go. Up to modern day. Kaylee Hackett was the last born in 1999. Got something over here as well at the desk. Okay, so it says these cages should hold Chris, Caleb, and Kaylee. When camp's over, they can keep hunting the white wolf. He's got to come back sooner or later. It'll be safe if we use blood. Last thing we need is more casualties. That's from T. So they were trying to prevent casualties and keep these kids and uh, their father kind of locked away. Just didn't work, did it? What's in here? Ooh, the sun card. Nice. The sun tarot. Let's have a look out the window. Guessing we can't jump out this, right? Oh my goodness, that was the hag, guys. That was the ghost of a hag, I think. Don't know if this is the right way. Nope. How do you do it? It looks like she's gonna transform pretty quickly, actually. We ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. Oh no! We might transform into a werewolf, I think, though. I ain't got enough silver to kill you, but I sure to hell can make you suffer. Okay, what's gonna happen? Um, oh, this way. Dodge. Nice. Kick his ass. And again. Awesome. Let's, yeah, let's beat this old dude's ass, man. Screw you. All right, now let's get out of here. Or is she going to kill him? I don't know. She's surely got her powers now, right? Her werewolf powers. Look at her face. She's transforming. Ooh, the light. Let's run. Let's run, guys. I feel like this is the best option because the light's really bright. might burn us. Hey, what's your position? What's your position? Oh. Maybe that was a bad mistake. Maybe that's what we shouldn't have done that. I don't know. I thought she was going to turn around and run straight away. <gasps> the power box. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Nice. Okay. Ooh, look. We freed the werewolf. We freed Nick. The question is... Where are you? Oh, he can't see us. We're in the dark. That's weird how you can't hey! see us at all. Everybody fucking stop right now! Well, we've just let out the werewolf, so uh, I think these guys are going to die her. soon. Take her face off. No, don't. You know what she did to Kaylee? And she killed your mother, too. Don't do it, man. You're better than this. Wait! Yeah, see, he's better than this. Oh. Travis is a good guy deep down. I like Travis. He's done some questionable things, but he's tried to stay on the right side of good, you know? So we're back with Ryan now. Now the problem is, we have let Nick out, the werewolf, you know? He's now going to be stalking everybody in this house. So things could go from bad to worse here. We also need to try and clean up his wounds, you know? Because he's not looking, uh, like I said, he's not looking in the best of shape right now. We can do this, I think. We've come so far. Ooh, a little crawl space. Perfect. <coughs> Bringing those Resident Evil 7 vibes. Ooh, we gotta hold. Hold the button down, quick. Come on. I can see the hands just smashing through this in a minute and grabbing him or something. Come on. 
It's plaster. Or is it? No, it's not. I don't know if it is plasterboard. He might not be able to smash through it. Hold breath. Okay, I'm going to hold it last minute, guys. He's listening. I always try and hold that last minute, as I said earlier, because then we get longer to, like, hold our breath before uh, we have to release the button. He's listening. You can't hear anything. There's nothing here, man. Just turn around. Look elsewhere. And... Safe. Right, let's go. Proceed with caution. Nice. Are we out of the house? Looks like we're outside. Nope. Not necessarily. I don't know where we are, actually. We need to put some alcohol in that wound. Remember, this is like a rum storage facility or something? Oh, no, he's here. Our only hope is the werewolf shows up now. Oh, come on. This is my knife. No, please. Please. Nobody takes my knife. You stabbed me. <laughs> You're leaking red like a juice box. Oh, please, you, you can you can help me. No, man, you're bleeding out. The only thing I can do is put you out of your misery. No. Humane light. Oh, here's Nick. Oh, no, it's Laura. I thought it was oh, no, Nick. You've been bit. Pick on someone your own size. Travis! <laughs> he knows that he's, like, screwed now. Look at him run. Oh, oh, easy. Easy. Yeah, keep that humanity, Laura. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, Ryan. We need to get him patched up. Oh, how bad is it? Maybe we need to infect him so that he can heal. I'm so sorry. She's gonna bite him, isn't she? That bad, huh? Then he'll be able to heal up. Or maybe not, I don't know. I'm trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First Max, how are you? I think we should bite him. Sympathetic, it's not your fault. Mocking, I didn't want to say it. I'll be sympathetic. It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. Yeah, man, we make our own decisions. <laughs> And probably not the best ones going by uh, the outcome of this. She needs to bite him. She needs to infect him. And then he'll be able to like re kind of recover. Am I dying? He's lost a lot of blood. But it'll it'll heal though, right? Come on, regen. Wait. Maybe it maybe it will. What? Ryan, if you let me bite you... What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected, which means... Which means it will heal. I think that's a good thing to yeah. do, because if we kill the original werewolf, he'll be okay, won't he? it also means... Yeah, yeah, I got it, big bad wolf. So as long as we see through the ending of the game and kill the original, we can save him. Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. And Max's and your saves friends. saves everybody. Too. We've got to do this, guys. We've got to kill Chris. We've got to save, it, save everyone's life in the process, you know. Let you bite me. And live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. We're gonna let her bite us, Pretty by the much, way. That's the decision. Yeah. I've already made it. It's not like we're it's live like streaming home. here. It's not yeah. like you guys can intervene anyway, but I'm just telling you. That's the choice I want to go with. So are we doing this or no? Yes. We're doing it. Except. Do it. Path chosen. Here we go, guys. We're on the path now. Okay. No turning back. Nice and tender for you. 
Do it. Get it over with. Uh, she's going to get the taste for blood if she does this as well. Do it. No, we're not pulling away. Imagine she kills us by accident, though. <laughs> There we go. She's like a little vampire. Yeah, she got the taste for that blood. Oh man. You should start to feel better soon, I guess. I don't know if this was the right move. But it's the choice we made, so let's get going now. That family's going to be outnumbered by the sheer number of werewolves soon anyway. <laughs> They're not going to be able to do anything. But neither are we unless we get uh, the original werewolf. We've got to kill Chris Hackett now. We've got to make sure that happens. Otherwise, everybody's doomed to the same fate. Okay, we're back with Dylan in the Hackett scrapyard. These guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped apart. It's just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for... engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Okay. So we're looking for engines or anything intact. I mean, I'm no car expert, but... I'm guessing the game's going to show us exactly what we need to look for, so. We're also going to look for clues, you know? We need those clues, as much evidence as we can find. Okay, the lights keep coming on. Startles me a little bit. Ooh, we can go through, potentially go through there, but first I'm going to check this car out. Nothing there. Can we go in here? What is this? I don't know if you should press that, my dude. Is that just for the gate? Yeah, okay, that's fine. I thought it was going to set off some kind of alarm system, maybe. <sighs> Are we going to end up in a documentary? No. Shut up. Come on, let's go. No, you're going to end up in a video game. And we're all watching you. Right, we've opened it up, but I want to go back into this room. I'm not done with this room yet because I feel like we might find something hidden in here. If I were a game developer, I would hide something in a room like this. Looks like a calendar over here of some kind. August, we've got the dates, and there's the date of the 22nd is for full moon. Yeah, so these dates, they were like tracking when the full moon would happen. Because they know on the full moon, of course, the transformation occurs. And Chris Hackett and his kids would transform on that day. What have we got here? Scrapyard notes. Hmm. Who's T? Mm. It's Travis, isn't it? Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. <sighs> Dodgy. You said it. Okay, so they were keeping certain items off the books. You know, maybe cards that have been uh, related to people that go missing as a result of a werewolf situation. Basically hiding evidence so that if it was ever an investigation, there wouldn't be any kind of like evidence to link back to them. Right, we're going to head on then. We're going to go through the gates and deeper into the scrapyard. Anything this way? I don't think so. Which way do we go, guys? We could go through here through this creepy alley. Or this way. I think this way seems safer, so I'm going this way. We'll remember that as a shortcut, though, if we need to. It's an old school bus here, actually, hollowed out. Hmm. So many different routes to take. I'll go through the school bus. See if there's anything hidden down here. It's very dark. Maybe this wasn't the best idea, actually, because we're completely out of the light now. Hopefully there's a light here. Nope. We've come the darkest way possible. Of course we have. Hmm. 
Hmm, I feel like this was the worst possible route we could have taken. We're now on top of all of these crates. This place is like a maze. I'm a little bit worried in case something chases us in a minute and I've got to remember the way back. We've look. reached a scaffold. Oh, look, a working car. Just need to demagnetize so, it. So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. No, it's just the same, Kids yeah. used to call me the grabber. That's not no, good. Nope, uh-uh. Oh, I hear that now. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? You don't want to be called for grabber. That's not a flattering nickname. Can I have a gun or encouraging watch my back? I'm going to be encouraging. We couldn't even operate a gun like that. It's a shotgun. Sure, you need yeah, two hands sure for it. Um, it's got a kick on it, you know? Just uh, watch my back. Caitlin yeah. is yeah. a good shot as well, so I trust her. Even though she let the kind of hunter guy just take the gun from her earlier. Right. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. This does kind of look complicated. I wouldn't have the first okay. idea what to do right. with that. <laughs> oh, great. What the hell is going on? Flashing lights and loud music. It's gonna attract all the attention. All right. Here goes nothing. Just, just drop the thing. <laughs> and here we go. We're gonna lower that car down, get the parts we need to get out of here quick. I feel like this is a point of the game where we could easily lose one of these two characters if we don't guide them back the right way through the maze. Because there's blatantly gonna be something turning up it. any second now. Yeah. Uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score! Looks like she's found the part she needs. Oh no. Oh. This isn't good. <laughs> Something's coming towards us. Warn Caitlin, lift car. I'll warn Caitlin. Come on, warn her now. There's something, there's something coming. What? Hide. <gasps> Gotta hide. Oh no. Can we lift the car now? Up. Oh, here we go. We're lifting her up, guys. We're lifting her up. Oh fuck. Dylan, get Quit. the We need to get the werewolf off the car. Oh no, okay. Uh, I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do. Um, slam the car or sound the horn. Uh, slam the car, I guess. It might hurt Caitlyn, though. I don't know. If we had sounded the horn, I don't know if that would have done anything, you know? Oh no! Oh! Okay, that's bad. The horn might have been a better idea because, you know, <laughs> it's um, it's a loud noise. Can we drop the car on it? Yeah, drop the car on it, quick. Come on, man, come on. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on. I hope this doesn't fall on Caitlyn by accident, because if it does, it's going to be really bad. I can see this hitting Caitlyn instead. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes. I think we actually made the right choices there, guys. I think that worked out for the, you know, the right way. We flattened the thing. Although, will it kill it? I don't know how strong these things are. That was kind of epic. That was a cool scene. Dylan. Thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about how brave I am. Don't push it. <laughs> okay. You did well, man. I'm gonna give you that. You did a good job there. And so did so, we, guys. We made the right choices. So much for our 
brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? <laughs> Better than being out in the open. Come on. We gotta walk all the way back. Can we not at least get some parts from the car? Surely they can just get the part that they need from it, right? I mean, that wouldn't be broken. They only need the rotor arm for the, uh, for the car back at the lodge. Anyway, we saved Caitlyn. I was really worried then that we'd uh, kind of dropped her and the monster was just going to eat her, but I think we're good. Now we're back with Abigail and Emma in the storm shelter. We can't just sit here. Why not? Dylan said it's safe here. Well, yeah, I just, I don't want to be waiting around. But that's literally all we need to do. Just wait until morning, right? Fine, but we need protection. Go see what you can find. It's better than just sitting around. All right, let's have a look around. It's what Emma wants, what Emma gets. What is this, anything? This is the entrance, right? This is where we came down, and here we go. We've got a tarot card, so that's a good thing we came out there. Got some claw marks. Remnants of a thing that used to be trapped down here. I think it was Chris Hackett's wolf that used to be trapped down here, actually, as I remember. Hmm. Seems like evidence. That's the way out, so we don't want to go there yet. See if we can find anything else. Oh! What is that? Is that the hag? It looks like the hag. Man, I don't think it's a good idea to be down here. We need to get out. We were safer in the car, I think. Maybe the hag's a good omen, though. I don't know. Maybe it'll protect us. Is there anything else? It's so dark in this place. I can't see anything. Ooh, power box. Can we turn this on? Surveillance room. Hmm. Huh. Looks like the main fuse is gone. That's why there's no power? Why would somebody do that? What is it? Silver shells. How'd they get down here? The hunter must have dropped them. This is probably how he got upstairs and attacked Caitlin. These fucking guys are everywhere. We got a path update there. I don't know why, but we must have done something to trigger that. We can't access the power box yet. We need another fuse for it. So I guess that's what we're looking for. What about over here? What'd you find? Oh, I'm just checking That's out the ladder, ladder that goes up to Chris's office, isn't it? Is that a tiny little door up there? Uh, yeah. We'll open it up. I don't why? think we should. We don't know what's up there. Exactly. Have you not been paying attention, like, at all? Okay, what I mean is, it might be good for us to have an escape route. You know, we don't know what's up there. It, it, the lodge, there there also could be a, a way for I us to I don't want to go up ourselves. there, guys, because if you remember, we loosened one of the steps when we okay. came down here originally, in, like, episode two. Sense. So if we go up there, I feel like she's going to fall. But the game's probably not going to give us a choice, is it? That's maybe why the path updated. Basically, one of these rungs on the ladder is loose. Because Dylan already stepped on it. I feel like it's going to break and she's going to fall now. Yep. You alright? Oh, well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was, that was close. See, the path updated again. Maybe if I hadn't checked the ladder, this wouldn't have happened. I don't know. I didn't even realise it was for ladder, I just checked. But they're now separated. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. We're back with Laura and Ryan now in the house. I wonder what happened to Jacob. I kind of want to know what happened to Jacob. Oh, they ain't getting through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. I might need to rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> Do 
you smell that? No. She's she's turning, isn't she? Never I don't mind. think these are good signs we're seeing here. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Okay. Ooh. Watch your step. Yep. A bit squeaky up here. Can we actually see where not to step on the flooring? Or is it just random? I don't know. I don't know if it shows us where not to step. Sounds very rickety up here though. Oh no. What was that? I think Nick's up here. Or some kind of werewolf. Oh, this might be Chris. Or this could be his son actually. I think they said his son returned. So this is probably more likely. His son, maybe not. I don't know. It's it's one kind of werewolf. Oh no. I feel like this could be Chris's son. I don't know, it's definitely gonna be uh, Chris. Oh. Okay, we keep falling down. This is the episode of falling down places. Oh great. Wait, we've got two werewolves down here? And Laura could be turning too? She's gonna turn now, isn't she? He's like, oh my god. <laughs> Everybody's turning to a werewolf at once. No, she's turned. Travis, no. I don't want Travis to die. Silverback mirror. Bobby! The gun! I want Bobby to die, I don't like him. I want the two like red necky guys to die. But I don't want Travis to die. I think Bobby might have died actually. You know what? If he has, who cares? Right. Boom. Path chosen. Oh, I killed Laura. Wow. Okay. Actually, no, I didn't. I didn't kill Laura. I killed the other werewolf. Okay, well, uh, no, I wouldn't have shot if it was Laura, honest. <laughs> Did we kill Chris then on that basis? Did we just shoot Chris Hackett? Did we save everyone already? That's kind of epic. This is really cool, this episode, Thanks. guys. Through, um, not killing me. I think we've healed everyone. Yeah. Likewise. So, what now? Everyone's back to normal? What? Oh. <laughs> it's not over. You think this is over? This isn't over. Great. Uh, Why not? I don't understand. Chris is dead. Oh. oh, Chris wasn't the first. Oh no, there's That's more. That's not possible. Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Her brother. Oh, he was the first. <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. We hardly got to man, see Chris in this game. Well then, who bit Caleb? Silas. They've been tracking him for years. He's a... So that's who Silas gypsy, is. Gypsy, transient. We gotta end Silas to save everyone. from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A uh, feral albino child. Giant white wolf. 
White Wolf. What? That's the White Wolf from the notes. What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, let at him go! The, at the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Kim. I want to. I want to help, we guys. We should help, right? My family. We, we can help those who are still alive. Um, I'll be suspicious, but I'm not going to be mean. Why the hell should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. And everyone uh, who's still alive anyway. I think we should help him. Let's just do it. Let's go for it. Okay, okay. So where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. Path updated. We're on a mission. The hunt is on. I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. Can someone please get me some fucking clothes? You look fine like that. Just uh, wash the blood off. <laughs> we should probably get some clothes. Though. It's probably going to be quite nippy outside. You know, pretty cold. You had your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family, and you failed. Why is she so angry? I didn't want to wipe them out. Not all of them, anyway. It doesn't matter. Is she the There's hag, I wonder? I wonder if this is the hag of Hackett's quarry. Past is the past. Let's just <clears throat> look to the future, shall we? I think it's desynced as well, for some reason. I think we're voicing desynced, then. The vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions. I mean, we have kept everybody alive so far, haven't we? It's up to you. Apart from to Chris Hackett your path in <laughs> and his mother. Darkness and see the sun rise once again. The Hierophant. Where did you find this? She seems angry about it. Where did you find it? This shouldn't be here. He's been through enough pain. No, no. I think she's no. trying to protect the original werewolf. My poor boy. Silas. Do you see what that did to us? I think she's definitely the hag of Hackett's Quarry. Six years ago, Eliza. No. So wait, is this Eliza? We're actually going. She was the gypsy woman, the one that's camp got burned. What have they done? Yeah, guys, it's all making what sense. Have they done? Ah! So we can look around. Man, this is cool. This is a twist and a half. I like it. Oh, and there is the burned guy. Silas, the dog boy. The original werewolf, I guess. Silas, my boy! Oh, oh. Ah. Oh. Imagine if we hadn't found that card, we wouldn't have got this whole, like, flashback. No flammable containers, guys. This isn't good. Boom. And this is how she became the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh no! Can we dodge it? Yes, we survived. Imagine if that had hit us. Like, how would that have changed the story, I wonder? Poor Silas. Don't think he deserved that, right? And there's the sheriff's badge. 
all melted down. And this is why she got the feud for the family, I'm guessing. What is that, blood? Yep. More about blood that they used to protect themselves from the uh, wolves. Mommy's coming, Silas. Mommy's coming, Silas! 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 So she's not so friendly after all, this woman. She's actually uh, sort of unhinged and crazy. She is the origin of it all. Imagine if we hadn't found that card, though. We would not have even known about this. The tower. Ooh. Is that the end of a chapter? No, no, no. Seems like it. My poor boy. You see what they did to us? How oh, they hurt us. He's out there still, all alone. Each full moon they hunt him. We're gonna be hunting him now as well. She's gonna be really angry with us if we kill him. To a curse they inflicted upon themselves when they set my show ablaze six years ago. Stupid shit. Little silence. My little white wolf. He must be protected. He must not follow this path. We have to. Do you understand? Remember how I've helped you all this time? You haven't helped us that much, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't really get a lot of help from you. How much I've done for you. I wouldn't play that card, because like, I got by just fine on my own. <laughs> okay guys, well that was episode 6 of The Quarry. I hope you enjoyed it. A bit of a longer episode today, but you know, I wanted to get both chapters into this one. The next episode will be the final episode where we finish up the game and basically bring all of these threads together and conclude the story once and for all. It seems like we've changed everyone back to their human form and sort of saved them from the bite of Chris Hackett, but of course, in order to stop the whole of this thing from happening to other people, we're going to have to track it back to its roots and defeat Silas, the original werewolf. So we'll do that in the final episode, which is coming probably either tomorrow or the day after. And hopefully you've been enjoying this series, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you can leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I will see you all on the next one.